We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the New York Mets. Into the box now, Starling Marte, and we are set for baseball here this evening. The 1-1. One, one. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. So we'll see if they have something in the works here with the leadoff hitter aboard and a guy that can really handle the bat in the number two spot. Nick to the plate now. Nick Ahmed. On a rope to the second baseman. And it got there so quickly the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled with just the one out. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Cattell Marte. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. But the runner's back easily. And another throw over. Keeping particularly close tabs on him. The set and the 1-1 pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Hit in the air out to straightaway left field. Cespedes is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And up next, the outfielder, David Peralta. Peralta. The 1-1. One, one. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. So now to the plate, Eduardo Escobar. Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. Cespedes is going back, and it's out of here. Back to back, two out home runs. Stepping in now, Carson Kelly. Two and one. Three balls and a strike to Carson Kelly. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Three two pitch. Oh, could it be three in a row? Out of here. And how about that? Back to back to back home runs. Into the box, Christian Walker. Two and one. To me, it looks like he just doesn't trust himself out there on the mound. It's like he's fighting his body on every pitch, and as a result, we're seeing a lot of balls from him early on in this game. Ildemaro Vargas would be next. Swing, strike two. Looked like he swung at ball four right there. Clearly, he saw something in that pitch that he liked out of it. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Now in the box, Ahmed Rosario. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. He'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Hit out towards second. He's got it. Throw to first is in time for the first down. J.D. Davis, the next to bat. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. This one's up around the eyes, two and one. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. After it is Marte. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So here's Jeff McNeil. No one aboard for him and two gone here in the first. Bases are empty here with two men out.
shoots this one over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Up next for Arizona, Ildemaro Vargas. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz. He's two for three. The 1-1. One, one. This is swung on and bounced to McNeil at second. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Diamondbacks, Luke Weaver, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now the one-and-one one pitch. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Line to the right side. And that is going to sneak on through into right. It's a one-out single. At the plate now, Starling Marte. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Beautiful diving stop. The second for one. Safe. No, we think. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Nick Ahmed hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A-B. He hit that ball on the screws. Two balls and a strike to count. Throw over to the bag. A dive, but he's back. And again, a throw, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Now back, the field. And now, Patel Marte. Down low, two balls and a strike. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Oh, that hit him. Let's hope he's okay. Safe. Not able to quite recover in time on the throw to second, but it looks like he's doing okay out there. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, David Peralta. And remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Turned on, but it's wide at first and foul. Now this is on the ground to second. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. Here's Pete Alonzo, and they've got some work to do early on. Down 4 nothing already. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. Batting fifth. The right fielder, Michael John Porto. Now the one-and-one one pitch is taken for ball two one out nobody on swing and a miss strike two that's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it it's going to have to lower his sights and a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone there are two away now and that'll bring up Wilson Ramos Two and two to the Mets catcher. Two out, nobody on. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. And that misses ball four. And now the Mets have themselves a two out base runner. Here's the left fielder, Yoenis Cespedes. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. The 1-1 is a fastball that misses. 
Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. This one's down to third, reined in. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Top of the third set to get underway. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Eduardo Escobar, he got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. Most good breaking ball hitters will hit good breaking balls. And that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch that was down in the zone. And he handled it really nice. Standing in, Carson Kelly. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. The 2 2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. At the plate, Christian Not Walker. Bad. He got no, called out on strikes his last time through. You know, Matty, yeah. tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into uber swing mode. He battled. He just got 50. locked up. Look for Second him to eight. have another quality Go A.B. Tomorrow. I think he's seeing the ball Barbie. pretty darn big right now. And they'll go oh, off speed it. here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Hard hit ball to second. Scooped up. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Here's Jake Marisnik. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Into the box now, Steven Matz. Matz pitcher behind at the plate with a ball and two strikes. Tried to get him to chase the curve ball away, but it breaks outside. Two and two now. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curve ball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Next for the Mets, Ahmed Rosario. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. On, he pops it up. Vargas backs up and takes care of it. Two away. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bed next will be J.D. Davis. A 1 1. Popped up. Walker has got it, and the side is retired. So here now is the pitcher, Luke Weaver. He singled his last time up. Yeah, he showed like a little prowess with the bat right there, Dan. I'd be surprised if they don't attack him a little bit more carefully, this A.B. Hit on the ground to short. Rosario's got it cleanly. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Back to the top spot in the Arizona lineup now and stepping in, Starling Marte. He's one for two in this one. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder is on the run, and no one will track it down. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So two are gone now in the Diamondbacks' the fourth, and that means that Nick Ahmed will be the next Nick to bat. Ahmed. Now the two one. Is looked at for ball three. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Up next to the 
the center fielder. To the plate now, Cattell Marte. Line drive to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Next up from New York, Jeff McNeil. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Full count, 3 and 2. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Digging in for his second at bat, Pete Alonso. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Marte going back at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Stepping into the box, Michael Conforto. McNeil leads off first with one away. Conforto behind the ball in two strikes. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three-two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. So it was a strikeout looking there. Michael Conforto goes down for out number two in the bottom half. Gets the sign. Here comes the two-one. Now Ramos with a swing and a deep drive to left. And that is off the wall. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. The left fielder, number 52. So now to the plate, Joanna Cespedes. Swing and a little blooper to center. Center fielder coming on. And the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. It's now a 4 2 game. Center fielder, number 16. At the plate, Jake Marisnik sent in the air out to straightaway central. Marte is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. So here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, David Peralta. One for two in the ballgame thus far. Three and one to the Diamondbacks left fielder. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. And this will be nowhere close as his control deserts him here. It's a five pitch walk. Now to the plate, Eduardo Escobar. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. That's exactly the pitch you don't want to be chasing in these situations. He's going to keep that ball down below the hollow of the knee, try and get you to ground into a double play. You have to set your sights at least belt high. Here now the 2-2. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. 3-2 pitch. Gets him looking, strike three. Stepping up now, Carson Kelly. He's now working back. on a one for two game so far. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone. One and two. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty. Oh, and he can't come up with it. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Robinson Cano will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Hitting for the net. Number 24. Robinson Cano. Oh. 
And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Cano is in Don't You Know, a part of his New York nickname. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And this is going to find some real estate out there as he comes through off the bench with extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Into the box, Ahmed Rosario. Two balls and a strike to Ahmed Rosario. Two and two now. Four and two our score here as we play inning number five. Softly hit out to short. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. Now batter, third baseman, J.D. Davis. Stepping in now, J.D. Davis. Nope. Lays off the change up, and he's ahead in the count now, three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. And he misses with it. Ball four. So that'll load the bases. And now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. So striding in, Pete Alonzo, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Ooh, not a spot you expect a curveball. He's lucky he missed because that's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Oh, and he struck him out. A big strike out there with the bases loaded, and that's the first out of the inning. Michael Conforto will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Line hard toward right center. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get two and possibly all three home. One run is scored. The batter, the Into the box now. Wilson Ramos. Line toward the alley in left center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. One run scores. And he is in there. The left fielder, number 52. Yo, Yo, and the plate now, Yoenis Cespedes. Cutter, and that's a called strike two. Oh, and he misses it. To second for one. So a runner at first with two away. And up next, the center fielder, Jake Marisnik. Hits are even at seven apiece. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. So far on the year, Marisnik begins play with a slugging percentage north of 525. Certainly a line he can take pride in. Fouled off. And a foul tip here, but it's held on to for the out. Good work behind the plate, and the inning is over. Your Red Rock three. takes over to start now the sixth inning on the mound. Number 29, Brad. Brad. So digging in now, Christian Walker. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. The 
three one pitch. And that's down into left center for a base hit legs churning he's headed for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. The batter number 50. Second baseman. Bill DeMauro. Vargas. Standing in now. Il DeMauro Vargas. Bounced to first. Fielded cleanly. And he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out. But it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third. Stephen Vogt will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Even Vogt. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Three one count, tying run on the on deck circle. You have to be very careful right here to make a quality pitch on three and one. Lifted in the air out to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. Stepping in, Starling Marte. Bases empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Ball two. Two and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Conforto is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Merrill Kelly enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Now pitching for the Diamondbacks. Number 20. Eduardo Nunez is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. fouled away the 2 2 one more time line drive snagged on a short hop oh and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head so a runner at first now with nobody out and up next will be the shortstop Ahmed Rosario off the curveball strike three called and that's going to be out number one up next to the so a runner at first now with first one away man. and into bed yeah, next will be J.D. Davis David. he's set here comes the one one pitch out nothing doing runner at first here one man out a little early and now it's even at two and two This is foul right side. Oh my, this ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? And gone up into the second deck. At the plate, Jeff McNeil. To two and two now. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Hit hard to short. There is Ahmed. And there are two away now. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonzo. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. A ball and two strikes now. Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, popped back inside the zone. Good spin rate on it. Move on to the next pitch. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. 
He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Curveball, but a good job to lay off, and he works out the free pass. The right field. Michael. John Porto. Here it comes on one and one. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Dylan Batensis is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Seventh inning ready to roll at the plate. Nick Ahmed last time through was a base hit. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Ball taken there. Two and one now. Now here it comes. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. One gun now in the Arizona seventh. And that'll bring up the infielder Cattell Marte. Marte. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Now back. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, David Peralta. The 2 1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. And he'll find a way to get a piece of that one to stay alive. Now another 2 2. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Swing and a drive to right by Peralta. This one's got some carry. Gone into the upper tank. To the plate now, Eduardo Escobar. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. Hey, if this guy's able to execute that two seamer down and away consistently, he's going to get a lot of swing and misses. He's going to get a lot of weak contact. He might even get a few knots on some people's shins. Now so it was a strikeout yep. swinging. Eduardo Escobar is the second out in the seventh inning. At the plate, Carson Kelly. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Maddie. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. A bouncer up the middle. He's got it. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. Here's the one and one delivery. Hit the other way out toward right field. Marte is underneath this one, and he's got it for out number one. So with one away now, a chance for the left fielder to bat with the bases empty. Here's Joanna Cespedes. Popped him up. Kelly waits on it two gone striding in Jake Marisnik he homered back in the third inning in this one bases are empty here with two men out fouled away
And he fouls this one off. And there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Ready to begin the eighth. Coming to the plate now, Christian Walker. He's working on a one for three thus far. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. well behind that fastball it's a swinging strike I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down he's awfully tardy right now and he tries to get him to reach for it but it stays outside three and two yeah well down two you better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here anything to get a base runner on and get that tied run to the plate the 3-2 one more time is a swing and a miss that's strike three stepping into the box Ildemaro Vargas the second baseman Ildemaro Vargas now the three and two pitch and he lost him here on three two as that pitch misses it's ball four Domingo Leyva will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot Domingo Leyva Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. That misses and we're even at two and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Here's Starling Marte. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Marte. half-hearted attempt that time as he broke the plane of the plate. It's a ball and two strikes now. Lifted down the line and left. Here comes Cespedes. And they can't run it down. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Stephon Crichton is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number Jed Lowry is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. Down low, two balls and a strike. I got two on the count. Change up, called a strike, and he comes back even at two and two. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And Lowry swings and misses, and he's down on strikes for round number one. Now that is. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Throw in time at first for out number two. So two are gone in the Mets half of the eighth. And into bed next will be J.D. Davis. Two out, nobody on. into the corner and slicing foul. Two and two. Line toward the alley in left center. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. Number 
In now, Jeff McNeil. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Seth Lugo comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Digging in once again, Nick Ahmed. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Fouled off. Another try at 2-2. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Stepping in, Patel Marte struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Line fouled off to the left and a few rows back. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. Full count now. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, David Peralta. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. It's last at bat his second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And with about 32,000 in the building, they're on their feet now. Three and two now. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Yanked on the ground down the line. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And this will be off the wall out near the 330 marker. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. The third base, number five, Eduardo Escobar. So now to the plate, Eduardo Escobar. Here's a foul ball left side, and that'll move it to one and two. Arizona down to its last strike, and another foul ball. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And here's a curveball that just about got away as it misses inside for a ball. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Some more good work out of the bullpen as he notches his 10th save of the season right there. Nice job. 9-7, to seven, the final score in this ball game. New York used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Steven Matz with his fourth win this season. Seth Lugo wraps it up for the save, his tenth. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home.